Do you have a screen that needs to be repaired? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's get right to it. Now I bought my screen repair kit on Amazon for about $18. It comes with everything you need. The screen material itself, it comes with the spline roll, it comes with a spline removal tool, it also comes with the roller that you need to push the spline down into the groove. It has a measuring tape if you want to use it. I won't use mine. And then it also came with a little razor knife. And this thing actually is not that bad. I'll use it in, as part of this repair. Your first step is to remove the spline out of your existing screen. You just use your spline removal tool. I like to do it in the corner. I can get the end of it in and under the corner of that gasket pretty easily, or the spline, and then pull it right out of the entire screen. Make sure you get every inch of it out. Once you have the spline out, now you can take the screen off of your frame. Take that out, throw it away. You don't need that anymore. Take your screen material and lay it over top of your screen frame. They say that you should probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of about two inches overhang, somewhere in that ballpark or more around the edge of your total screen because when you put that spline back in, it's going to pull that screen in slightly. Now take your spline roll and lay it out. And what I like to do is take a full length and lay it across the far end of the screen and then grab your roller. Now the roller has two ends. The first end has the grooved side on it. This is what you're gonna use at first to get it kind of set in place. And then once you have it set in place all the way around, you have the pointy, or almost looks like a pizza cutter, honestly, end of it that you'll use to push it further down in the channel of the screen. As you get the grooved end working on this, please be careful not to push too hard with this. The purpose is to just get it in place. If you push too hard, you will rip the screen material. Work it all the way around the screen. Don't worry about pulling the screen too tight. When you push the spline all the way in the channel, it's going to tighten up and become nice and firm for you. Once you finish working it all the way around, just cut it at the end. I actually like to cut it a little bit short and you'll know why when you put the spline in. It stretches as you push it down inside. So it's gonna stretch into that corner, which is why I cut it just a little bit short so I don't have too much pushed up in that corner. Now flip your tool over to the pizza cutter side and you wanna push it down on top of the spline and really push it down into that groove all the way around the edge of the screen. You'll notice as you do this, it's pulling your screen tighter so you have a firm screen when you're done. Now the last step is to cut the screen off, the excess pieces. I like to take the razor blade turn it to the side and put it up against the outside edge of that frame. That way I get a nice clean cut, I don't cut down into the spline, and it looks neat when it's done. Once that's complete, well, all you have to do is put your screen back in your window. If you need some assistance figuring out how to do that, check out this video. And while you're here, you can check out this guy as well. Until the next time, keep doing it yourself.